Lethal Pursuer, Meta Perk. I'm calling it. Now let me explain. If you don't know what Lethal Pursuer does, long story short, game starts, 9 seconds, you can see the aura of all survivors. That's it. Wow, but it only lasts 9 seconds. But you don't understand how big of a deal that is. This perk does three things really, really, really well. Thing number one, saves time. Now, High Level Dead by Daylight is all about time efficiency. Every second that you have where you can move, you should be doing something. And that goes quadruple for the killer, seeing as it's one killer versus four survivors. Your time is literally four times as valuable. Now, the biggest stretch of time where you will lose time in a game is the very beginning trying to find survivors. Sometimes you'll spawn in the middle of a map and you'll have no idea where the survivors spawn. Sometimes you'll check, but they'll be hiding. Sometimes a generator, maybe even two will pop before you even see a survivor because they're playing so immersed. With this perk, that is a thing of the past. This perk guarantees that you will always have a fantastic early game, which is such a big deal. You do not have to have high mobility to get value from it. Most of my testing was on Nemesis involving this perk. And Nemesis is a 115 move speed killer with no ability for speed boost. And yet I was consistently able to get into a chase under 20 seconds every single time I ran this perk without fail. This guaranteed that I had a good start on my early game, which is amazing. Reason number two this perk is so good is because of the information it gives you on the survivors you're not currently chasing. For example, let's say you spawn into a game, there is a survivor working on a gen really far away from you and you're like, okay, well I see him working on the generator, and you go for someone else instead. And then after downing them, maybe it took you 40 seconds to down them, to hook them, then you can go, okay, now I'll go over here and I'll chase this person off the generator because they're most likely still on it. And then, you know, I might kick the generator with Pop Goes the Weasel, regress at 25%, or I might use Rune to just regress it as I chase the person off the generator. You can use the information of what these survivors are doing in the first 9 seconds to help not only snowball your early game, but snowball your early to mid game as well. Long story short, information good and can be very effective. And this is one of the reasons why this perk is so good, because it can work on any character in any build. If you're running a high mobility character, it's probably the most effective because it'll let you get in a chase with whoever you want very, very, very fast. If it takes a killer with no mobility 20 seconds to start a chase with someone, with this perk it would take a killer with high mobility maybe 10 seconds, right? Uh, nurse, Spirit, Blight, but even characters without mobility can still benefit really well from this perk. In a lot of ways they benefit a lot because it's harder for them to cover the map more quickly to find survivors, so being able to start a chase right away helps nullify the effect that they don't have mobility to explore for those survivors. So that you could argue in a lot of ways this is still really, really good for killers without mobility. Well, you might be going, well, what about stealth killers? Because they usually don't want to just immediately start chasing. You're right. This will give stealth killers information to show them where they can go to ambush the survivors and either stop them if they're Ghostface or Myers or, you know, sneak up on them with Pig sneak up on them with the race so they can't see your shimmer as you're running up to them. You might be saying, okay, well what about the trap killers? Because this is useless on killers like Trapper. This is useless on killers like Hag. I think it's still useful on these killers. It might not be a meta, 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 meta perk for them, but I think it's very useful because it can give you good information. Let's say you're playing Trapper, and usually when you're playing Trapper, you want to start setting your traps up around three generators that have spawned really close together. That's what you do as Trapper in a lot of situations. Well, think of it like this. You go to do that, but you go to the three generators that are close together, and it turns out all four survivors spawned in that area. So they see you place down every single trap, they harass you, they constantly are destroying your traps, and they make it to where it's extremely difficult for you to actually play the game. Well, if you had Lethal Pursuer, you could see, okay, well, this is the three closest gens. Oh, wait, everyone spawned over there. I don't want to place my traps there. Let me instead go to these three gens, which aren't as close together, but there's no one there. No one will see where I'm placing my traps, and I'll have a better chance of, you know, defending my traps later on and defending that area. Same thing goes for Hack. The information you can get from this 
is insane and it gets better the better you are at the game. And this is something that you can't really say about other perks, but I genuinely think every single killer in every single build can get good value from this perk. And the last thing about this perk that I think is such a big deal and why I think this could, should, and should be a meta perk is because it's really fun. It's a fun perk. One of the most annoying things in the game as killer is to try to find four people at the start of the match when they're all just hiding. Like, it's, it's really frustrating. Most killers really don't enjoy it, and the more you play, the, the less you enjoy doing that. So having a perk that says, hey, you get to do the most fun part of the game, which is the chase right at the start of the game, and then you can snowball your pressure, and then you can do all these other things to, to you know, keep your chase going, it's, it's pretty amazing. It just feels so good to run this perk because you don't have to, to worry about a generator popping before you even find someone. You don't have to worry about the, the four really immersed Claudette players playing on the outside of the map that you can never find. You just, you just get to start chasing and it feels good. Literally, this is a perk that gives you instant gratification while still giving you real value at the same time. And I love this perk. And honestly, if you still, after all this information, think that this perk is weak, you know what? You're right. This perk sucks, guys. This is such a bad perk. Oh my god. Like, like it only lasts 9 seconds. What the heck? It only lasts 9 seconds? Whispers last the entire game. Whispers last the entire game. Why, why can't we get more buffs for this perk, guys? Do you know what we should add? Do you know what we should add? We should make it to where you get a 10% a haste movement speed buff during the first 9 seconds of the game. Yeah, that'd be fair, dude, because this perk is just... It's so bad. Like, this perk is 